Hello everyone. Welcome back to today's topic of the day. Today we'll be discussing about the Social Stock Exchange. Now in February 2023, the Securities and Exchange Board of India, that is SEBI, gave its final approval to the National Stock Exchange of India to launch its Social Stock Exchange as a separate segment. Now if we look at the background, the proposal to establish it was first announced by the Finance Minister while presenting the budget in the 2019. The Social Stock Exchange would function as a separate segment within the existing stock exchange and would help the social enterprises raise funds from the public through various mechanisms any non-profit organization that is npo or the for-profit social enterprise that is fpses that establishes the primacy of social intent would be recognized as a social enterprise which will make it eligible to be registered or listed on the social stock exchange now let's see who can invest. The retail investors can only invest in securities offered by for-profit social enterprises under the main board. In all other cases, only institutional investors and non-institutional investors can invest in securities issued by the social enterprises. Now if we talk about the eligibility criteria for listing on social stock exchange, these social enterprises must be serving to eradicate either hunger, poverty, malnutrition nutrition and inequality, promoting education, employability, equality, empowerment of women and LGBTQIA plus communities, working towards environment sustainability, protection of national heritage and art or bridging the digital divide among other things. Also, at least 67% of these activities must be directed towards attaining the stated objective. Now, let's see who are not eligible for listing on the social stock exchange. The corporate foundations, political or religious organizations or activities, professional or trade associations, infrastructure and housing companies, except affordable housing, would not be identified as a social enterprise. Additionally, the NPOs would be deemed ineligible if they are dependent on corporates for more than 50% of its funding. Only the Indian entities can register in the Social Stock Exchange. Now, if we talk about the mechanisms to raise funds through Social Stock Exchange, the non-profit organizations or the NPOs can raise money either through issuance of zero-coupon, zero-principle instruments from private placement or public issue or donations from mutual funds. It is mandatory that the NPO is registered with the SSE for facilitating the issuance of the zero-coupon, zero-principle bonds. The Development Impact Bonds or the DIBs are one form of structured finance product available on the Social Stock Exchange. Under it, upon the completion of a project and having delivered on pre-agreed social matrices at pre-agreed costs or rates, a grant is made to the NPO. For-profit social enterprises need not register with the social stock exchanges before it raises funds through the social stock exchange. It can raise money through issue of equity shares or issuing equity shares to an alternative investment fund, including social impact fund or the issue of debt instruments. Now, let's see the expected benefits. The social stock exchange would serve as a medium for the enterprises to seek finance for the social initiatives, acquire visibility and provide increased transparency about fund mobilization and utilization. The social stock exchanges may give investors much clarity on a firm's social impact and its intention to work towards the social welfare. Now, there are certain concerns associated with it. The social stock exchange exists in one form or another in UK. UK, Singapore, South Africa, Canada and Brazil, but it is yet to take off in any country. It could create more intermediaries and benefit larger organizations at the cost of smaller grassroots groups. More than 99% of the 3 million NGOs in the country are in the small category which could be untouched by the social stock exchange. Now that was a little bit about the topic. Let's take a practice question. Consider the following statements about social stock exchange. Statement 1. The proposal to establish social stock exchange was first announced by the finance minister while presenting the budget in 2022. Statement 2. Indian as well as foreign entities can register in the social stock exchange. Now, which of the statements given above is or are correct? You may take a moment and give your answer in the comment section below.
Now the correct answer is D that is none of the above two statements are correct the proposal to establish social stock exchange was first announced by the finance minister while presenting the budget in 2019 and not 2022 and only the indian entities can register in social stock exchange i hope you liked the video and found the information useful you may also check out our daily current affairs section on our website and for more such videos stay tuned to next is youtube channel